people. So today, we're going to get into lots of lemmings, right? The whole idea of drawing real life stuff and then using our imagination to apply that in the philosophy of Chuck Jones, right? Which is the better you can understand and draw the world around you. And the more you draw, just keep drawing, the better you do in your cartooning. So uh, today is lots of lemmings. Uh, did everybody get the, I put the PDF up on the site. It looks like this. Did everybody get that? Everybody see that? Awesome. I see that. Okay. Um, and the reason I printed it like this will make sense when we get going is because last time I did it with just me looking at the print. Today, you have your own to draw over and then we'll apply that wholesome Olson. <laughs> you guys are nuts. Uh, all right. So I figured too, we would start off with a cartoon that is one of my favorites. It's the very first character I ever drew out of Janet can't print. Um, Janet, will the PDF not print for you? So there's a link to download. I mean, I, my, um, our print is pretty old. I don't, because um, my parents have never printed anything like that and I know how to print it, but I don't think um, our printer is, I think our printer's too old. Okay, that's fine. Well, you know, you'll, well, you'll be able to follow along with this. So it's no, no worries on it because we're just gonna be breaking down lemmings into basic shapes. Um, cool, thank you, Janet. All right, so we're gonna draw, or we're gonna watch a cartoon of the first character I ever drew of Chuck Jones out of his book, um, Chuckamuck, which is his first autobiography. So without further ado, and I got the film right today, thankfully. Uh, Scott, will you roll Trip Along Daffy, please? I love that cartoon. There are so many hidden jokes in there. If you somebody asks what the square dance caller was, Chuck Jones has his name on one of the badges. One horse town cleaning up. There's just, there's a lot. It's a funny cartoon. All right. So let's get into making our own hilarity. And we're going to be doing lemmings today. And here's the whole thing, right? It's taking something from real life, sketching it out, and then applying your own cartoon style to it. So if you have this, now is the time to grab this sheet. And welcome back, those who are with us Tuesday. If you're brand new, my name is Ben Olson. You are in a Chuck Jones Center for Creativity program. Scott Leah has hers, excellent. And uh, here we go. So when you have this paper here, and I'm gonna bring the camera down. What I wanted to do in giving you guys something like this to work off of is it's the same thing I did last time. And it's taking a lighter version of the picture and then breaking that lemming down into basic shapes. All right, so when we draw our real life stuff, and today we're gonna get a little bit into fur, you know, not just the shape of the animal itself. So with your pencil, like we're gonna start to map out certain shapes in it. Like if you can kind of see, there's one large shape and he's kind of like an, an egg, right? That's my overall shape. His face and his ears are within the first part of that. So it's like an oval right in there also. And his, his back, he's got a little foot right here, but his back legs, they almost touch, right? And then you've got a little foot here which is where this is. And even though it kind of looks like a, a fly or an alien bug, right, as we kind of map out our shapes, you can kind of see that with, with one big shape, we have the general area of where he's at. And then within there, there's one, two, three, four, five shapes. And this is just breaking down an animal in a very simple form, like we did with the elephant and other things. So what we can do from there is we kind of have an eye line. So if we were to take this, we can see that the eye sets here. And he's got like a little ear area there. And then his nose sits down here. So it's kind of like a little snout. And that's a super simple way to break down a small, small animal with simple shapes. 
So easy enough. Yes. But the first men in black, not necessarily the second, the third, or the fourth one. Um, so here's in this, right? Now we have our basic shapes on this, and this is just meant to kind of give you an idea so that we can map that out. I want you to take your paper as we go real life, right? And this is where we'll start to draw this out. So we have that shape and it's like an egg shape, right? Remember when we're just lightly sketching our shapes to use your elbow and your shoulder. I'm not using my wrist to draw. I'm using my elbow and my shoulder. And it doesn't matter if I have overlapping lines. So let me pull that down a little bit more. Scott, does that look better? Yeah, that looks fine. Okay. So we've got, doesn't matter if there's overlapping lines because we're gonna pick our final lines. And then in here we've got the oval for his head. And then we're just gonna repeat those shapes. like this. So we're going to do exactly the same thing we did on our paper. Right, and just like that, we've got it sketched out. So you can see the similarity between one and the other. We'll back that up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, well, lemmings are kind of all head, right? So there's kind of our lemming shape, right, and how that, how what we did here in breaking down the figure translates to here and this just kind of gives us some guidelines you can do this literally with any animal and any human so if i'm going to now fold my my lemming i'm going to use this now to complete my drawing so uh, usually i like to start with eyes you can start with whatever you'd like but i like to go with eyes and his eye is not a perfect circle it is kind of like a football shape. Yes, wild hamsters, AKA the lemming. And then he's got a little bit of a rim around his eye. So if you can see like right in here, kind of where his eye sits, there's a little rim like so. And since we have kind of like where things are mapped out, like I said, we're gonna get into fur. Um, before we do that, as we break into like kind of tying our shape down a little bit, notice his, his head is not a perfect oval, right? It does kind of come down at a line and then drop. And it drops right almost a little bit after his eyeball. So right about here, there's a line and it, his head just kind of drops like so. And that, brings us down to where his nose is. So you can kind of keep that a little bit lighter also. And then in his snout, we've got like that, almost like that rabbit nose. Kind of comes down this way and it's tucked just underneath. Stop. So at, at this point, right, we can put in a little bit more of the shape. It's got a little bit of dimension there. We can start to get our, our lemming down because we're gonna translate this into cartoons and it's gonna be a dance troupe of lemmings. You can pick one, two, three, or four lemmings in your dance troupe when we get to that point. All right, so I've got his ear is, is kinda, of, I'm just gonna leave that shape here because it's really all fur. Um, so all I wanna do now is I just wanna get my general shape tied down a little bit of the lemming itself. So it's, again, it's not a perfect oval. There's a little bit of a dip. You got his backside, drops down here, and 
He's got some claws on those feet. This one's kind of covered. But I noticed that even on this piece here, you can kind of see that line come up. All right, and we're gonna keep this a little loose. We're gonna get into some fur. All right, so I've, I've got- a question for you in the chat. What? Yes. Uh, what, what kind of dance? Um, it's <laughs> it's going to be a totally whatever you want it to be. It's a dance troupe. So you can pick your theme as long as it's a dance troupe. I think I'll have to pick which one because I don't know which one I'm going to do yet. Good question, though, Max and Des, or Descott and Mascot. All right, so I've got my basics down, right, in, in my nose and the general shape. Fur can be one of the hardest things to do. Fur and hair can be very frustrating. So what I'll do in general is I'll get some basic shapes in. So I'll notice that up here. And what I'll do is very lightly put in, goes just by the ear, right? There, so this is brown. I got a little bit of cream colored fur that goes over the top. And then this is cream colored fur. And I'm just mapping out my areas. That's all I'm doing. So even on where his ear is, kind of comes up by his eyeball. Right? And as I'm mapping out the areas, we're going to add fur. But as I'm mapping out the areas, this is just going to give me an idea of where I can go back and add detail with the fur in a little bit. And I can see two there in the, got kind of like that back leg, which is like right here. There we go. All right, it looks like a, well, like we got lines all over the place and that's totally fine because we're gonna add some. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and erase my construction lines that I had for the ovals, just so I can see my fur a little clearer. As I do this, so cartooning camp is next week. And Scott, who is teaching that? I forgot. I believe it's Lee. I think it's Lee, yes. Yeah. So Lee, who you all know, is teaching cartooning camp. That is a paid for camp, but it's like it was a big success the first time. So they added another one for the end, toward the end of the summer. So there will be none of these classes next week. It'll just be the cartooning camp and then we will resume classes the following week. Yeah, the animating one was pretty cool. All right, so I've got my dude, right? And I've got his little fur areas kind of mapped out. Um, in the darker fur, all I'm gonna do is shade it first because there's not a ton of definition yet. So I'm just gonna shade that in so I get my darker fur. And to give you guys a little bit of a hint of what I'm going to do after, um, after cartooning camp next week, um, I am gonna be focusing on the art of cartooning itself. So like think of like comics and drawing and creating our own comics. So we did that a little bit with a story and when we did some animating, we got into flip book and that kind of, this is gonna be different where we're gonna go from a one frame, one panel cartoon to a three panel cartoon, creating characters and a storyline to develop and then work in our composition. We're gonna work in color and kind of go through that entire process. We're gonna look at some, I'm gonna have some really good cartoons up like Calvin and Hobbes. Love Calvin and Hobbes. Um, and some others. 
Okay, so you can see just kind of mapping out and shading in areas of fur, right? Get his feet in here. Yes, Janet, I love Calvin and Hobbes also. It's quite hilarious. So we got a little bit going underneath. All right, so fur. How do you tackle fur? Man, it can be, fur and hair can be a little frustrating, right? Um, so the whole idea is not to show every single strand necessarily, but really to get in so it not, not everything has to connect. I'm going a little closer. Not everything has to connect when I'm doing my fur. So I don't have to have, I don't have to have tons of lines doing this. Here, let's show you this. Tons of line doing, doing this all over the place, right? That's not necessarily great fur. The whole idea is to show some volume. So I'll pick some lines. And add my fur texture that way. And then you can see even in the picture, this isn't completely open space here because I do have some of this fur going across. So I'll add, and then what I may do is just, uh, I'll shade a little bit darker because you can't totally see that. You shade a little bit darker in the areas and that'll count for what I want to pull off in fur. And then I've got, you know, little, little bits like in here. Like I said, not every single strand you have to put in. A little area underneath here. And then we have our lemming. All right, so as you guys are filling this in, I'm adding just a little bit of fur texture. I want you to think about your dance troupe, right? So this is gonna be a dance troupe of lemmings. So to Des and Max's question, is it interpretive dance? So to Evie's point, if she's drawing something like an animal that has a ton of fur on it, how do you avoid drawing every single piece of fur? The idea that you want to get across is draw like highlights. So you want to look for, um, the best way to put it is like shades and tones. So I'm not going to draw every piece of fur right here, but as I get a little darker, you can see, without having to draw every piece of fur, I can still get my point across that it's a furry animal, right? And then I'll shade it in. So I'll use shading as well, like this, as I get a little bit darker around the eyes. And then where I see a need for, like here's a little bit of highlight and fur. You're going off screen a little. Oh, am I? Sorry, there you go. So this is a way I can do it without having to show every single strand of fur. And also when I'm doing my crop, like my lines, if I'm shading with lines and I see fur going in a certain direction, again, I, I'm not showing every strand of fur, but I am giving a little bit of direction in my shading lines. Darken this up a little bit here. And then I'll give some pieces to the top so you can see. Yes, yeah, kind of like bulking it out. Okay. 
again, I'm not drawing every piece of fur. I'm just, I'm shading in some areas and then I'm giving some definition where I see, where I can see the physical strands themselves um, a little more clearly. Hopefully that helps. So there, for instance, you can kind of see there, there's my, I've got kind of a fur texture and I've been able to do that fur texture by just shading with some kind of cross hatching lines, right? Not necessarily drawing a strand of fur every single time. And I can still pull off that same effect. And then where necessary, like at the top, we'll zoom in a little bit on his head. We will add a little bit there. So, and this table shakes. And as easy as that, you can create that fur texture. And just shade it in. Okay, so how's everybody doing on their lemming? There's my lemming. How are you doing on your lemming? Janet gives me the thumbs up. I'm drawing on my fridge homework that I didn't have to do. <laughs> All right, Amin is back. I'm uh, back. Janet, very homework. cool. Thanks. Absolutely. And then to remember, because not it's not always light. Um, way to go, Amin. What do we got now? Is it okay for you to Amelia? Look at Amelia, look at that. See, you blocked out your your um, fur shading. Very cool. Very simple way to get those things down. Up, oh, Vic Vienna and Victoria. Well done. Look at that, dude. That's an awesome looking lemming. He looks, he looks like you could pet the little guy. Very cute. I'm not so sure. I think this is. That looks awesome. Yeah, mom. Yeah, see, basic shapes, fur shading. That's it. All right, uh, Heather Rose, Liliana. <laughs> that looks cool. Very nice. He's got a very cute face. There you go. Good job blocking out that kind of the colors of fur. Well done. Can you pet a lemming? I'll bet you can pet a lemming. It looks like a guinea pig. All right, who do we got up here? Sophie. Sophie. Very nice, Sophie. Love the fur texture too around his face. That came, out, that came out cool, man. And his arms. Very nice. And he's got a smile. Looks like he has a smile. That's a happy lemming. All right, well done, Sophie. Thank you. Here's Tater Tot. Tater Tot. Nice. That looks awesome, dude. Very cool. You guys got the hang of this. You picked it up pretty quick. This After is a little... lemming with the baby and mom. Oh, so you got a whole family of lemmings. Very cool. Huh. Nice job, Olivia. All right, let's go to Des and Max. I don't see that. Oh, here they are. Hi. Um, do this one. Nice, that looks great. Did a good job like mapping out the color of fur and, and where the colors change. Very cool. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want to share yours or? No. Nope, all right. So, lemmings, right? Not that bad. And the great thing about lemmings is there's a ton of them and apparently they wanted to start a dance troupe. And they all didn't want to do the same thing. So, we're gonna take some exaggerated poses with lemmings now that we know how to draw one in real life. And we're going to exaggerate that as I bust out my pencil sharpener. And here's what I want you to do. Your dance troupe has to be at least two lemmings. You can see how they look. We've drawn the real life lemming. That looks great. So we understand like kind of how their makeup is, right? As far as their body size, bigger oval on bottom, you know, like a little smaller oval on top smaller hands, that kind of thing. So we have our 
live or a real reference. And now we're going to translate that into our own cartoon lemmings. Now you can do this in your own style of, of cartoons. Cause I know like Evie's got a style, Tater Tot's got a style. Um, Sophie's got a style. All of you guys have a style that you kind of are developing. So you can draw this in your own style, but a dance troupe minimum two, you can go as many as you want as long as you can fit it in, in the next 20 minutes. Um, and then think of like genre of dance. So I am going to do, uh, and you can make one up by the way. I'm, I think I'm going to do space. It's going to be space, like intergalactic folk dance. No idea how that's going to come out. So you pick your own genre of dance, right? Well, actually, no, I'm going to switch that to ballet. I want ballet and I want it space ballet. That's what I want. So I'm going to do space ballet. Janet's going to do techno. And remember in exaggerated poses. So friends, when we're doing this, that doesn't mean that the, the lemming is just kind of like, Hey, he's just sitting there, right? Like a lump. No, that means maybe that lemming is like, Whoa! right? Exaggerate poses, arms up, stretch the body. Use what you know and already that we've done in squash and stretch and all those kind of things to make something unique in a pose. Maybe the legs all the way out. Maybe the arms are all the way out. Who knows? I don't know. But don't make it just one kind of like lump. This is a, this is a uh, dance troupe. So they're, and this is their cover photo. Let's make it even more interesting. This is the cover photo to their poster on their whole performance. Minimum two. Maximum, whatever, as long as you can get it done in 20 minutes. So if you want to show, great. We have, if you don't want to show, that's fine. Dance troupe. I'm going to move this up. Dance troupe, and here we go. All right. So you've got your pencil. You've got your paper. Um, as we're walking around, I'm thinking if I'm, if I'm doing space ballet, um, Maybe Marvin the Martian will make an appearance for me, and maybe the maybe the Lemmings will have Marvin the Martian as their muse. I don't know exactly. Um, keep in mind as you're drawing, keep your lines light in your construction, right? Because this isn't our final lines picked, and all I'm doing is I'm using curved lines to get my to get my movement down on like how I want the, essentially the spine to bend. So, I'm using just basic shapes. I'm keeping it nice and loose. And just mapping it out, that's it. It's all this first part is just like we did when we were drawing the, um, we we're drawing the real life lemming. And I'm just trying to get my basic shapes down. It's got that like rabbit nose. I want to think that maybe Maybe these are slightly arrogant ballet lemmings, space ballet lemmings. So have, have something in your pose that's dramatic, right? Do something dramatic with the pose. And remember, even in the lemmings, their heads are kind of connected to their bodies in a way that they don't have necessarily a traditional neck. So you've got these. You can draw it in your own style. Your final lines don't have to be yet. Actually, let's go for ballet feet. Knuckle under. So in your own style. And as we're going along, if you have questions, please ask.
go knuckle under here for the feet. All right. Um, so as we're going around, who has, who already knows what genre of dance? Ferrets are fine. Um, it's going to be like two people. I, I don't know what it's called. I've, I've seen it, but I just don't know what it's called. Okay. Like I see it in many cartoons. I just don't know what it's called. The type of dance? Yeah, I've seen it in like Chuck Jones. I've seen it in Disney. I've seen it in Scooby Doo. All right. I'm gonna have my lemmings. My my space ballet lemmings are gonna be quite large. In compare, and remember costumes, right? This is a dance troupe, so I'm gonna have a little tiny Marvin the Martian down here. Because in actual size, these things are gigantic. So here is my here is my miniature my miniature Marvin. Down here, mortified at the fact that there are gigantic space ballet lemmings above him. He doesn't quite know what to do. They're probably blocking his view of Venus. Oh, hey. Look at you, Scott. <laughs> you feel free, buddy, to make any commentary that you want. Because this is right now like the golf channel. As Marvin steps up to the plate. His arms are behind his back. His little legs are down there. With his big feet. All right, there's my, there's my little tiny Marvin, who has no idea how he got into the middle of this. All right, and there are the lemmings. And this guy may very well squash him, I don't know, but think of costume. Think of costume. These dudes have lots of fur. Remember, you got your own style that you can wrap to this. So, let's go big eyebrows. All right. How can you draw him so small? <laughs> um, here, I'll I'll zoom in just a tad. Because because Evie, I have drawn him so many times, I kind of have his basic shape down. There's my tiny little Marvin. Oh, look at him, tiny Marvin. So <laughs> so you and you and Heather Rose did your numbers on Marvin. That's okay. Maybe Marvin had both eaten and not eaten a lot that day. You never know. All right. So here's my shade in his face. That'll help. On my tiny Marvin. You know, it reminds me of, you guys ever seen, uh, have you ever seen, and you probably should have already, Despicable Me and Vector. It's a, it's a little tiny toilet. So oh, remember Vector from Art Draw, Art Tag? Yes, I do. You're right. Oh, Vector. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go. Uh, All right, so, Scott, that's a great comment that you made, and I will tell you why because this is not about how well, like comparing ourselves to anybody else but ourselves. So in, in even what we're drawing, don't worry about what, else, what somebody else's drawing looks like. Uh, just concentrate on your own because maybe they've got some more time in, maybe some more practice, who knows. But Chuck was always 
encouraging people just to draw and don't be discouraged by that. All right, so I need costumes. Um, I need galaxy belts for my space lemmings. There we go. So this space lemming will be. I need two twos. What's that? Tutus, they need tutus. They need tutus? All right, hold on. I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna go right below here and we'll do. They need spaceship tutus, they need like space seam tutus. All right, let's see if I can. And ballet shoes. And ballet shoes, all right. So let's get the, I think the ballet shoes kind of go like this with the laces. And you know how in like some ballets they dance with ribbons? What if they were dancing with lightsaber ribbons? Lightsaber ribbons. Yes, I'm gonna ribbons. Try, I'm gonna but... try to keep up. All right. Okay. The should be on fire. <laughs> Even a crown. Even a crown. Like a big crown or like a small crown? A small one. There, how about this? There's the small crown. Y'all are making me work, good night, man. All right, lightsaber, lightsaber ribbon. I don't know how this lightsaber can bend like this, but I mean, we don't need to even worry about that. And then it's on fire. I think somebody said it's on fire. So we'll just have a few flames coming off the end of our, almost like an electric whip, I suppose. Um, all right, we have shiny sequins. I'm gonna make you all work here in a minute. I wanna see what everybody else is doing. All right, shiny sequins. All right, lightning whips. Lightning whips work. Maybe there's some ruffles. Like the thing the Bullrog had. The which one? Lightning whip is like the thing the Bullrog had in Lord of the Rings. Yes, all right, I'll, I'll go with that. So you, yes, Evie, you can draw a random lemming if you want. I've got a Mar random Marvin the Martian, so you go for it. Okay, so I have kind of a fairly weird looking tutu that sort of comes out and makes mild sense, but not a ton of sense. Clearly, I need more practice at that, but that's okay for now. Let me just erase some lines in here. So as we're rolling around, it is already 149, which is insanity. Time is flying, and I want to give everybody the opportunity who wants to, to share their space troop limbing, their dan or their dance troop. I'm doing this, the space troop. You share your dance troop lemming. I would, but the thing is, I haven't finished it yet, because I, I don't know. Do you see what mine is? I mean, I mean, look at this. I'm not even remotely close to finishing. Yeah, I've only done one, because I tried doing another thing, but I scrapped it, and I thought of a better design. Okay. I totally think you should show it anyway. Okay, well, I have only one done, but... All right, well, here, tell you what, I'm going to come to you, in a, and I'll come to you, like, down the road a little bit to give you a little bit more time. Okay, cool. Does that, does that work? All right. So, we'll get some Olivia fur. has her hand up. Who does? Olivia. All right, Olivia, let's go to you. This is my tree. <laughs> That's awesome. So what kind of dance are they doing? 
They're doing like, uh, like freestyle dance or what? Oh, all right, freestyle dance. I dig that. Very cool. Nicely done, Olivia. Um. All right, as I'm trying to do my jellyfish-looking tutu thing, let's see if I can. Who else would like to? If you would like to chime in, and already, like this one's gonna have a giant galaxy belt. Who here has played Lemmings the game? Um, I don't know. I have not. I have not played Lemmings the game. Is it good? And what system did you play it on? Or if you didn't play it on a system, did you play it on an app? Here's my Mafia Lemmings. I've never even heard of Mafia Lemmings. I mean, don't be shocked by that, but. All right, there's my other 2-2. Two -two. My space 2-2 two -two with the ballet shoes. All coming to a point. I don't know what position that is, but it's something. All right, so who would like to go next? As you can see what I'm quickly sketching in my in my lemming. Well, hound, I assume we have to do a little crown on this one also. Here's Isaac. All right, Isaac. So, um, sorry, I'm coloring one more sleeve. Um, I, when you said Lemming Dance Troupe, the very first thing I thought of was an infamous image from Dragon Ball Z um, called the Fusion Dance. And I have no context behind this, but I just oh thought to myself, what would it look like if I drew it as lemmings? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, I would say that's a win. Love the poses. I love the fact that it's exaggerated. Well done on the reference, sir. Thank you. Absolutely. Most of my drawings end up being references anyway, so this is kind of part <laughs> for the course. That's all right. That works. All right. Next up is Sophie. Sophie. I've only drawn one lemming, though. That's okay. And I'm not good at drawing lemmings. Oh, I love the I love the wings. So, what part? What dance troupe is he a part of? He's caught part of the lemming bats or something like that. Love it. I like the fact that he's a formal dressed dancer. Love the tie. Love the suit jacket, and I love the wings. Nice job, man. Way to go. All right, thank you, Sophie. Scott, I'm gonna let you control where we go next. Amelia? Amelia. Please welcome to the Balemings. <laughs> the Balemings. <laughs> nice. Well done on the name, too. That's hilarious. Love the drawing. And I, I like the side-by-side, -side too. That, that, that looks cool. Thank well you. done, Amelia. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So Des and Max would like to share. Des and Max, please do. Okay, so when I said I could share, I uh, could have shared, uh, but then I started adding something else. So <laughs> you can go to someone else. I'll tell you when. All right, you'll tell me when you're ready. Okay. So okay. we'll go to Vienna and Victoria. Vienna and Victoria. <laughs> All right. I just think that way. <laughs> I love the costume. The costume is brilliant. Way to go, man. <laughs> okay, I think I think you might be having a good time. There we go. That looks I are we do I assume this is the Nutcracker Ballet? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Well done. I like the addition of the Nutcracker. Well done, ladies. <laughs> It's not done, though. Yours isn't done? Okay, you can keep working on that. That's no problem. All right, so here's my, my space ballet lemmings. 
and maybe they're on maybe they're on planet X right now. So I'll have I'm just gonna have a giant X underneath them. It's like the X stage, if you will. All right. Um, Scott, I think we have more people with their hands yes, up. Yes, Amin and then Evie. All right, Amin and then Evie. Okay, I don't know if I'm done, and I don't know if I'm not done, but here's what I got. Dude, that's awesome. If I, it's Hold a barbershop dance thing. Right? Yeah. Like, I it's love a barbershop the... triplet, not, a quad, not a whatever that is. Dude, that is hilarious. I love the stage. I love the looks on their faces. And there's That's, one behind every single person. That is awesome, man. Well done. Well done. Dance Troop Lemmings. I like the fact I, that they have all I tried them. doing a realistic one, it didn't work. It's okay. I, li I like your interpretation after this. Very cool. All right, where are we going next, sir? Evie? Evie. All right, dude. Hip hop lemmings. <laughs> Yes. All I can do with the money keys or the money necklace. That's hilarious. And and you've got the boom box. Yep, I almost forgot. Old, old school 80s style. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you very much, Evie. Tater tot. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go, man. Lemon lemmings. Yep. He doesn't love lemons. Awesome, dude. Well done. I like the fact that they have their little emblem on their on their outfits. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, right. Rose and Liliana. Uh, well, I could take time. <laughs> that looks great. Man, you got a lot of dancers in there. That's like a whole. I don't even know what you would call it. It's bigger than a troop. Well done. And I like their shirts. Thank you. Nicely done. Oh, yes. Look at the poses. Are these breakdancing lemmings? Yes. I love it. Well done, man. Love the outfits also. You guys did great on those. Very good poses for both of you as well. I like the exaggerations. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, sir. I think, uh, does Janet have her? Yes. Janet and then Des and Max. Okay, Janet. I did, um, I decided not to do techno, so I did medieval lemming dance. <laughs> <laughs> hold it, wait, hold it, up to, hold it up to the screen. I want to see that a little bit longer. Can I see that drawing one more time? Yes. I love the knighted outfits. Well done. And his very kingly shawl. <laughs> very cool. Uh, where are we going? Des and Max. Hello. Hi. So uh, I'm not sure. Let me just test real quick to see if my camera's flipped. Yes, sir. Yes, I think it is. Uh, here they are. <laughs> yes. The cliff jumpers. Uh, <laughs> you tied it in perfectly. Well Thank done. You. I love the hats too. Thank you. I've got a beanie, okay. a baseball cap, and one of those like fedoras. Absolutely. All right, thank you, sir. Who's up next? We have a. Don't see have any more hands. hands what's, who has not shown? And if you don't want to show, that's not a big deal. So um, it's only if you really want to. But all right, we're going to go back to. One more time, I'm gonna just finish my, I'm gonna finish my galactic belts. So this one is Jupiter, this one is Saturn. That's their dance names. Now oh, I think Amin would like to share. All right. Amin should go twice because he hasn't been on here for so long after giving me all kinds of, after jumping on my, our- um, I drew an audience. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love it, man. Way to go. Way to go. Yes, EB, I could go for a lemming for each planet, and then we would have Pluto. And then would Pluto be a planet, or would it just be out there on its own? I don't know. Maybe Pluto. Like, imagine a planet in the background, it's just a lemming face. 
Yes. It took over the entire universe. I grew up with Pluto as a planet. I'm not giving up on him. So let's just go with Pluto. All right. So well done, everyone. Um, Scott, we can go back to Maine. So here's what I love about this kind of stuff. It's, it's taking real life, understanding what real life looks like, and then exaggerating it for our cartoon stuff, which is exactly what we do in you know, and cartooning, all that kind of thing. And it just stresses the importance of drawing real life and then how we translate that to create our own characters because uh, Chuck Jones would say the same thing and he would want to see your real life stuff and then he could teach you how to do Bugs Bunny. Um, Get my phone. Tickets to the Lemming show. I will let you know when those are available. Uh, coming to a theater stage near, virtual stage near you. So here's what I want to cover as we wrap this up. Uh, next week is cartooning camp. So if you guys uh, did that, it is a paid for thing, but it's online and uh, through Chuck Jones, Lee is gonna teach it. A lot of you guys have already taken Lee's classes, so you know who she is. She is super awesome. Um, yes, Evie, you go right ahead and animate your lemmings dancing and I would love to see it um, in two weeks. So please do. Uh, so next week there will be none of these kind of free classes. Um, because we'll be doing the cartooning camp, but we will be back that following week. So Scott, what's the, uh, Corgi signed up. Awesome. Um, Scott, what's the, can you put the link in the chat real quick for the cartooning camp? And then what's today's date? Is it the sixth, fifth, Let's see. Is it the seventh? Today is the sixth. All right. Uh, so that grab the link for, real quick. the 18th, we're back the weekend of the 17th through the whatever other date that is five days from them and we'll have five days of classes. For everybody who has filled out the, the form online to help us kind of figure out what an average best time would be, it's looking like afternoons. And uh, Amelia, to your point, um, Pacific time, I go by central, so it's just kind of a gauge um, on all that kind of good stuff. Can you get whipped cream? Go get the can. Go get it out of the fridge. Um, so if you will be back for the, yeah, he is cute. Wait till I unload a can of whipped cream in there. Um, so we'll be back that I'm going to concentrate on, I'll be back for two days a week and I'm going to concentrate on cartooning, right. And, and actually creating cartoons, one panel, three panels, and how that leads into comics. I would love to like start working out this whole idea of character and kind of what we did in animation where we were doing the creating our own story and then doing the flip books. That's okay. So Des and Max, no worries. Um, we'll post the videos of our stuff online after if you guys miss that kind of stuff and for whoever, for whoever can join, that would be awesome. So you guys have a wonderful, wonderful afternoon. Lee is teaching tomorrow. And yeah, Tater Tot should totally share it by the next class because if you animate something, dude, I want to see it. And Tater Tot did some pretty wicked fan art also, I would have to say. All right, dudes, have a great afternoon, and I will see you uh, I will see you in like a week and a half. Have a great afternoon. Hi, thank you for class. Bye. Absolutely, you're welcome. Bye. 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 Thank you for the class. Bye. Bye. Thank you for the class. Thank you. Bye. You're welcome. Bye.